Hi, my name is Sal Syed. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Arcos. And I'm going to start by asking you a simple question. Do you feel stuck in your golf improvement journey? Does golf feel like a black box to you? When you go to the range or take a lesson, do you know exactly what you should be working on? Or are you just guessing and going through the motions? Well, you're not alone. Getting better at golf has remained a mystery, despite 84% of golfers citing getting better at golf as their top priority. Do you know the average golfer's handicap has only improved by 1.6 shots over the last 25 years, according to data from the USGA? But fear not, O oh golfer. There is light at the end of the tunnel. We can help get you unstuck. We can help you unlock this mystery and allow you to maximize your potential. I started my journey to do just that almost a decade ago and co-founded a company called Arcos to help myself and golfers just like you. Over the years, we hired some of the best scientists and engineers to pioneer breakthrough technologies and refine our platform. Along the way, many of the biggest brands in golf like Ping, TaylorMade, and Cobra have joined us on this mission. I myself have gone from a mid-single digit handicapper to a plus two and achieved something I never thought possible, winning my club championship. John K. Solheim, president of Ping, saw such an improvement in his game that he tweeted a picture of Arco's sensors with the caption that he couldn't fathom not tracking his round ever again. And our stories are not unique. There are hundreds of thousands of stories like ours. In fact, the average golfer who uses Arcos can expect to improve five shots in their first season alone. But before I share more about Arcos, let's look at how golf has evolved over the past 500 years. In that time, a lot has changed. Golf started with cheap mowing fairways, and now we have autonomous vehicles coming in. Clubs have gone from being made of wood to space age metals and balls have gone from feathers to thermoplastic resins. Yet as I mentioned earlier, golfers have only improved by 1.6 shots. How is this possible? In large part because our understanding of golf has remained in the dark ages. There's a key tool in our arsenal which has not been properly utilized and it's called data. As the saying goes, you cannot improve what you cannot measure. On-course measurement has been missing because until recently, it has been exceptionally hard to track the correct data. Most golfers today don't track any data while they play. And if they do, they track the wrong data, such as fairways hit, greens and regulation, up and down percentage, and number of putts. Why are these the wrong data? We'll get to that. So do I have your interest, your attention? Would you like to learn more about the data revolution taking place in golf so you can truly unlock your potential and finally reach your performance goals? If yes, then stay with me and we'll peel a few more layers. So let's talk about the wrong data I mentioned earlier. The original problem lies in the fact that traditional stats in golf are both useless and misleading. Let's look at fairways hit. Take two golfers, golfer A who hits 100% of fairways but only drives at 100 yards, and golfer B who hits only 50% of fairways but drives at 300 yards. Which one would you rather be? If we just went by fairways hit, it would be golfer A, but no one would pick that. Similarly, when you're looking at greens and regulation, we know it is much easier to hit a green from 50 yards than it is from 200 yards. So naturally, better drivers of the golf ball will give themselves easier opportunities to hit greens. As a result, GIR doesn't tell you much, if anything, about your approach game, as it could be your driving that could be costing you your green and regulation opportunities. And same thing with putting. A two putt from 50 feet is a good outcome, but a two putt from four feet is not. If you just track the number of putts, those outcomes look identical. So tracking the number of putts doesn't help you understand if you're a good or a bad putter and can actually lead you down the wrong path. Well, then what the heck do we do? Luckily, a few years back, brilliant researchers at MIT and Columbia and top statisticians like Peter Sanders and Mark Brody 
had a moneyball style breakthrough for golf. They created a revolutionary new way to analyze golf data. Now you hear it on TV all the time. It's called strokes gained. And it's what all PGA Tour players rely on to figure out what parts of their game to work on. It is so important that the PGA Tour spends millions of dollars every year to collect this data and deliver it to the best 150 players in the world. They do so with the help of a system that requires 10,000 volunteers every year. You might have heard of this system on TV. It's called ShotLink. Very simply, ShotLink collects the starting and ending location of each shot a PGA Tour player takes. It also collects other metrics like was it a drive or an approach shot? Did it end up in the right rough or in a bunker? All of this data goes into the cloud where strokes gained are generated to compare a player's performance versus their competitors. PGA Tour players employ highly paid data scientists who analyze the strokes gained data to help guide the player and their coaches on their journey to play their best. This data also informs their on-course strategy with things like when to hit a driver and when to dial it back off the tee. This is the exact data that DJ and his team utilized to figure out that he needed to practice his approach shots from inside 100 yards. The result? He went on an incredible run that saw him win the US Open at Oakmont, the Masters at Augusta National, and claim the number one ranking in the world. This is the same data that Bryson utilized to work on his putting inside eight feet. He's now one of the best putters in the world. What's so magical about strokes gained and how does it work? Let me try to simplify it. Think back to a time when you hit an awesome shot. Maybe one of your playing partners even said, great shot. Maybe, just maybe, it was a hole in one. Well, strokes gained quantifies how great a shot it was. And how does it do that? Here's what the researchers figured out. Looking at historical data captured by ShotLink, they created a performance baseline. To explain this baseline, which we call strokes to get down, I will use the hole in one example. Let's say your ace was on hole number seven at Tamarack Country Club, which measured 179 yards that day. The researchers looked at the data and using advanced analytics, found out that the average tour player takes 3.1 shots to hole out from 179 yards. Now, thanks to your hole in one, you only took one stroke to hole out. So your tee shot was 3.1, which is the expected strokes you get down for the PGA Tour, minus the one shot you took, so 2.1 shots better than the PGA Tour baseline. As a result, you just gained 2.1 strokes on that shot versus the average tour player. That is your strokes gain, and that's exactly how great that shot was. Let's do another example. Let's say you have an 8-foot putt. PGA Tour players hold approximately 50% of their 8-foot putts. So they have one putt 50% of the time and two putt 50% of the time. As a result, the strokes to get down from eight feet averages about 1.5 strokes. Now if you one putt from eight feet, you gain 1.5, which is the baseline, the average, minus one, the putt you took, equals 0.5 strokes. So you gain 0.5 strokes versus the average PGA Tour player. That's exactly how good your putt is. And if you two putt, you lose 0.5 strokes versus the average PGA Tour player. And in a nutshell, that is the math behind strokes gained. The strokes gained model takes into account if you're hitting from the tee, rough, sand, or the green to accurately calculate how good or bad each shot you hit really is. And then we add up the strokes gained for all the shots in your round to get the total strokes gained for your round. And it's this aggregation that allows us to find patterns in your game, which are otherwise impossible to pinpoint. We are then able to quantify exactly what parts of your game you're consistently losing the most strokes in. And this in turn allows you to focus on the areas that need the most work. In the end, all you need to know is strokes gained is correctly analyzing your data and overcoming the shortcomings of traditional stats in golf.
Okay, you might say, but I'm a 10 handicap player, not a tour professional. What good is it for me to compare myself to a pro golfer? Well, that's where Arcos comes in. Using our database of 500 million shots, we've created the most advanced and most accurate strokes gain model for all skill levels, from 30 handicapper to a tour pro. Now we can answer this fundamental question in a truly personalized manner. I'm a 10 and I want to be a five. Where will those five strokes come from for me? Based on your data, you might find that you lose the most strokes in your driving game versus a five handicapper. You lose 3.1 strokes out of the five in your driving game. You lose half a shot in your approach game. Your short game is at par and you're losing 1.2 strokes in your putting. That's what you might find. Then you might drill down and discover that's actually your length that's awesome, but you're losing strokes on accuracy and penalties. You're losing 1.5 shots on your accuracy and 1.7 on penalties. This might cause you to take lessons or focus your practice on hitting straighter drives. And it might change your core strategy to be more conservative, whether with club selection or your driving lines on holes with driving penalties. Or you might find that your real problem is your approach shots from 150 to 200 yards. Or it's your short game, specifically sand shots from inside 25 yards. Whatever your personal path to improvement may be, you will find your truth in this data. You will unlock the puzzle that is your golf game through this data. Okay, great, you may be saying, but how do I collect all this data? The PGA Tour is not going to lend me its 10,000 strong volunteer army. Well, remember when I mentioned we've spent years refining the Arcos technology? It is honestly remarkable what our team has built. We've created a very easy to use system. It is literally 14 tiny sensors that twist into the grips and work with your phone to record your shots. You'll have to make the occasional edits of gimmies or penalties, which only takes a couple of seconds and can be done after the round or as you play. But what you'll get in return is incredible. The greatest insights into your game that you've ever seen. The same depth of insights that PGA Tour players rely on to compete and win against the very best golfers in the world. Right at your fingertips, in the app. It is quite literally the best investment you can make in your golf game. And by the way, you know that hole in one example we walked through? That was me. I made the right club selection based on the data and not guesswork. And once again, I'm not alone there. Arcos users are five times more likely to get a hole in one because they make more informed club selections based on how far their clubs actually go. So are you ready to join the movement? We'd love to have you. But as one of my favorite philosophers, Morpheus said, we can only show you the door. You are the one that has to walk through it.